Okay, so we're getting close here to the first one, <clears throat> first demo. So the first thing is, is at Safe we really make it easy to read XML, and if there is an XML format then um, that's well defined, then what we do is we wrap up the XML um, reader in a very thin layer so that you can easily find the one that is going to help you read it. So you can see some of the, the, the region specific ones. You can see Common GML from Sweden. You can see Kunta GML from Finland. And that's actually probably one of my favorites only because it reminds me of the movie Roots. And uh, <laughs> so anyway, I think I'm funny, and that's really, uh, you know, anyway, there we go. Um, you can see some other ones from the Czech Republic and City GML, of course, and uh, many of the others. So, so if you don't see your format here, you can probably get, um, just read it with the plain old XML or GML reader. But uh, please do let us know if you do have another XML format that you work with a lot, and uh, you could find it on the list, the list here too. Okay, so time for demo. Demo number one, I'm simply going to read some um, OSM data. Okay, okay, so here we go. Okay, come on, where is my. Okay, escape. Okay, there. There we go. So I have some uh, OSM data here, and I'm simply going to uh, drag it into a, a workbench. Okay, like this. Okay, and many of the formats have um, feature type, have parameter boxes you can read. Um, the first time I read them, I generally I did have a, a quick look, and I just go with the defaults. Um, we spend some time on the defaults to give them um, some of the uh, the data that you want. Now this has a lot of feature types. In interest of time, I'm only going to pick highways, okay? But you can see all the different feature types there of the OSM. You'll notice it has um, all the attributes. So now I'm going to connect it to a data inspector. Okay, and I'm going to run it, and um, that's all there is to it. Now I'm reading this OSM data, and I'm able to uh, to see it. Okay, so there it is there. Okay, I'm going to zoom into an area. Okay, okay, right here, and I'm going to click on this one. And the first thing we're going to look at is we're going to see the attributes that are part of that. Okay. Do -do -do. And let's have my feature information window. And you can see that it has the name is Hall Road, and there's a bunch of other information. Okay, go back over to this one over here, and you'll see that, hey, there is no name and uh, some attributes there. Now, because I didn't, it, it, what I'll do is I'll create another OSM, the same file. We'll look at the parameters again, and we'll see that we're just using the OSM accrue feature types and the attributes, and these are the ones that are there. But users, as they collect data, are allowed to add other attributes to the OSM, and so if that's the case as it is here, I can simply click on the feature scan mode, and now when I load it up, um, you'll see that I have many more attributes. So if, if you open a data set and you don't see um, what you expect to see or you don't think you're seeing everything, take a look at the parameters on the reader and you will see now I have many, many more more attributes. So I have the name now, okay, down here somewhere. There it is. Okay, so I have many, many more more attributes. Okay, so how hard is it to go to, to take this data and go somewhere? Um, very, very easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm and I'm avoiding using any transformers because we haven't talked about FME transformers yet. So we're going to go to, uh, say, pick a database. I'll go to PostGIS, okay, which is a, um, a database. Okay. And I, again, I look at the parameters. Everything's set up fine for me. And I'm going to say OK. And I'm not going to add a feature type because I'm just going to say here, duplicate on writer. So, and now I have my post just over here, and now I'm going to edit my post just and get rid of a bunch of the attributes I don't want. Okay, I don't want that one, I don't want that one, that one. Okay, and let's get rid of some of these other ones here. Whoops. Okay, okay, get rid of that one, and good enough, get rid of this one. Ah. 
Okay, get rid of a bunch of the attributes, and there we go. Obviously, if we had more time, we'd spend a little bit more time being a little bit more selective, but that's okay. And so now, what am I going to call this? Let's call this Highway, what is it, Wednesday? We'll call it Highway Wed. Okay, <clears throat> we'll write it to Postius, and uh, this will only take a second. Okay, we're reading a lot of features because remember we're reading the whole OSM file, but in fact we're only going to write about a hundred and something or three hundred features here. So we're going to see. Um, okay, there we go. It's finished. Okay, I wrote. Okay, I wrote thirteen hundred and seventy-five. Now I can go back to my data inspector and um, let's open our Postgres database, and you will see that I was able to. There should be a table here called okay highway wed and there it is okay I open it okay and this post just is actually being hosted by Amazon in the cloud so because I'm too lazy to um, to actually install it so uh, in it comes okay and I zoom in on the same area right in here okay and assuming that there's no users no user issue I click on it and you'll see that uh, there's name is somewhere in here. Okay, we'll go over here, and you can see the attributes that I pulled across right there, Hall Road. Okay, and it's in Surrey, BC, and so that's as easy as it is to uh, to move um, um, OSM data into you know any any old format. So so that's the first demo showing very easily how it is to read. Um, data. So any comments there, Laura? Poor Laura, she has no idea what's coming. It's exciting, yeah. So that, that kind of workflow would work for any of the predefined. Yeah, data. that's right, that's right. So so of course you're going to get it in your, your database just as it is defined, but at least you got it. And, um, you know, since we're, we're not allowed to use transformers yet, um, you know, that's about all I could do. I could rename attributes, so I, I could have shown some of that. And we could delete attributes, of course, like we did for the stuff we don't want. And you saw in that one feature, there was a lot of empty fields because, of course, I scanned. So it's just taking the union, you know, of, of all the different uh, all the different features for the, for that particular type. So another format that's, um, that we do a great job on is, um, F is City GML. I'm not going to show it here, but this is our data inspector where I, I just opened a City GML file and um, you can see what it looks like. And again, it was point and click right in our data inspector. And, uh, and that's pretty nice. By turning layers on and off, you can look at it. So, so again, you know, while FME is a data um, transformation tool. The data inspection is really key and in FME 2013 and SP1 in particular and SP2 um, the data inspector is amazing. Yeah, it's it's even good for XML now. 